Hi everyone, welcome to Kim and Bob's Home and Kitchen. Today we will be preparing the country red wine braised oxtails over creamy, cheesy grits. This Bob is getting ready. You ready to do your thing, Bob? Let's do that thing. All right. Mm. Hey, welcome back to Kim and Bob's Home and Kitchen. Kim, come over and check this out, what we got here. So right now, I'm just finishing up our oxtails here. What I'm doing right now, I'm skimming all this oil on these oxtails. Because I tell you, after you braise these puppies, you get a lot of excess oil in here. That's what we get. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to pour all this extra goodness inside this pot here. Okay. And... So what we did early today, we braised these in a little red wine. Little garlic, green peppers. I had fresh onions in there uh, and fresh thyme. So what I'm about to do right now. We're gonna puree all this goodness up. Over here. all this goodness up right here and what I want to do is give it a little taste test here oh my god it's so good oh Jesus all right so I'm gonna put a little heat on this here get that boiling right now we also made our cheesy grits with peel cheesy grits peel off so we're gonna put our oxtails over this these grits here. Okay, just want to get some nice heat on this before I thicken it up a little bit with a little cornstarch. So when it comes to a boil, we are good to go. Look at these oxtails right here. So tender. Ah, bone succulent. Bone succulent oxtails. Ooh, I'm so excited. on that puppy right now and we're going to put in a cube of butter a big cube of butter by the way and we're just going to oh my god just let that melt into that all that sauce right there yeah. and I'm just going to add in just a tiny bit of beef base just a little pinch <laughs> These gloves are really slippery. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. God, look at that. Ah, that's the body and soul of braised oxtails. All the rendering materials that's inside this pot right here. Like I said, with the fresh thyme, fresh garlic, chopped onions, so you can put some green peppers in there. Mild green peppers, by the way. All right, so I'm gonna set this to the side here. And I'm gonna grab these oxtails here. And what I'm gonna do right now, I'm about to drizzle all this loveliness inside this oxtails. Oh, just... That is one sensitive alarm, Kim. I know the house is not burning down. But we can't stop now, guys. We gotta keep going with this. Alright. There we go. Oh my goodness. Alright. So you see that's coming to a boil there? Kim, I really hate this alarm. Okay, I can see my my house gets real excited. I let them start kicking in. 
I don't know. I'm thinking it's my house is cheering for me. <laughs> All right. It's a good way to look at it. Good way, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I think that's really good there. Like I said, all this goodness has been braised in this this beautiful gravy right now that we have going here. I'm gonna show you what this looks like as it's braising in here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Kim, I think these puppies are good to go. Mm -hmm. All right. So with that, we are going to grab our grits, turn it off, and let's peel off here. Goodness around the oxtails here. Oh my god, look at that. Alright, Kim, let's take this to the table so we can finish garnishing this beautiful dish. Alright, let's drop some of this beautiful goodness here. Got a little chunk around the chili here. I'm going to finish it with a little. Paprika oil. Okay, look at that. And let's just finish it off. There you go, guys. Oh, yes. All right. Okay, guys, welcome to Chef Bob's Homemade Kitchen. This is some good stuff. This is going to be on this week's menu, so you guys give us a call. All right, see you soon. Bye bye. Oh man, Kim, what do you think about the food we just made this morning? Let me see. Mmm, that was so good. You did it again, Bob. You're delicious. She said I'm delicious. <laughs> Alright guys, see you soon. Bye-bye.